In part A, we're asked to write each of the following as a unit rate. So when we write a unit rate, it just means that the denominator of our ratio is 1. So 5,280 feet in a mile is the rate, 5,280 feet per one mile. So we don't need to write the one, but our units indicate the units of the numerator over the units of the denominator. Those are the units of our rate. Part two, 60 seconds per each minute. So that is a rate of 60 seconds per one minute. And as I said, we don't need to write the one, so we can just leave it as 60 seconds per minute. Gasoline at $2.49 a gallon, so that's a rate of $2.49 per gallon. That is our unit rate, so dollars per gallon are the units of this unit rate. All right, for part B, let's use unit rates to compare the quantities in each case below. So which is faster, 12 miles in 10 hours or 10 miles in eight hours? And the way that we compare is we write each of these initially as a ratio, 12 miles to 10 hours, and then we want to make it into a unit rate, so that means the denominator needs to be 1. So if I divide 12 by 10, I get 1.2, and you can check that on your calculator if you're not sure. So miles per hour. So 12 miles in 10 hours is a unit rate of 1.2 miles per hour. 10 miles in 8 hours We're going to divide that on our calculator as well. 10 divided by 8 gives 1.25. So the unit rate is 1.25 miles per hour. So we wanted to know which of the rates is faster and the greater one would be faster. So the 10 miles in 8 hours is faster than 12 miles in 10 hours. Part 2 here, determine which chips are the better buy. A bag of chips that's $4.99 for 20.50 ounces or a bag that's $4.29 for 12.50 ounces. So we're going to write a unit rate of dollars per ounce in order to compare. So that's going to be $4.99 over 20.50 ounces. And I'm going to take my calculator and divide 4.99 divided by 20.5, and I'm going to include the zero, I don't have to. And then I'm going to round that to, this is dollars, so that becomes 0 0.24 dollars per one ounce. So there's my unit rate. For the second quantity, $4.29 per 12.50 ounces, that gives a unit rate of 429 divided by 12.5, and that is 0.34, we're going to round to two decimals, so 34 cents per ounce. So this one is the better buy because the unit rate is cheaper.